Howdy, howdy, howdy. We're back for some more Rebels. I'm going to try to do as many of these as I can today, but I don't know how many I'm going to be able to do because I am really hungry right now. So we'll see by the end of this one. But either way, I'm going to try to record more in between whenever we record Clone Wars. Um, so yeah. Howdy, guys. Just wanted to interrupt real quick to let you know that I know a lot of you have been waiting for Rebels for like a long time now because it's been a while. So if you want just like a quick... You know explanation as to what's been going on at the end of the video after the reaction is done i'm just gonna talk about it a little bit so see you guys there i'm really excited last episode was really good i can't wait to keep going i don't know what to expect i don't look at the uh the preview as to what the episode is going to be about or anything like that i'm drawing a blank i'm tired sorry but let's do it rebel intelligence was right the Empire was building something over Geonosis. Yeah, but what? I've never seen an orbital construction field this big. The Genosians made weapons back in the Clone War. Whatever yeah. they were up to, I'm betting we're not gonna like it. Must have been huge if they had to build it up here instead of down on the surface. This is literally where we are in Clone Wars right now. I know for experience, the bugs down there don't take to unexpected oh boy. guests. No life. You crosswired? The billions of bugs on Geonosis. Scan again. They're dead. All of them. I don't like any of this. We don't know that for sure. Let's check out that construction module. Wait, what? They're all dead? Huh? They're all dead? What, what the hell? Keep it running in case things... In case things go like they usually do? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> My gut tells me this is a trap. Oh. How perceptive. I just. Mind <laughs> jobs, man. Come on. The Sats. Never know when to give up. Spectre 2, we're in the usual mess. Agent Callus has joined us, and there's some droid out there locking down door. <laughs> Chopper, go get that droid. Oh, oh, oh. I like. He just told Chopper, "Yo, handle that." Chopper's out. Yo. What? He didn't have to drop kick him like that. I mean, I'm not I'm sorry for it, but damn. Oh, he's crapping. <laughs> Yo! Yeah, what about that? You heard him. Let's go. Spectre Four, we're leaving. Where are you? They're busy right now. Dip, bro. Oh, nice. Ooh. Dad, where are you? Spectre Six, no need to wait. Got my own ride out of here. Escape pod. Oh no, they're separated. I don't like that. Oh, oh, is he in there with him? Zed made it out. Zed, you copy? Zed. Yeah, he must have lost his comm link. He's heading for Geonosis. We'll be able to find him. Oh, he is in there with him. Oh, oh. They really scrapping though. They're gonna be frozen now, like Cap. <laughs> oh. That's real. I was not expecting that. Yeah, facts. Just leave him there, bro. <laughs> Just dip. No, come on. Zeb, you. Kind hearted. Uh, 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 I'm just thinking about how easy I could crush your head. Do it. But <clears throat> I'd rather wait for you to heal so we can finish our fight fair and square. Yeah, I guess. <clears throat> That's not happening either. 
Let's take him out. And here I thought Geonosis was a desert planet. <laughs> that is Geonosis. We are on one of its moons. Ah, the transponder. Probably damaged in the crash. If you can repair it, reactivate its signal, maybe the Empire will find us before we freeze. Or worse. So, maybe you won't die today, but the Empire will win. Every day we recruit more informers. Every day we persuade rebel sympathizers to reconsider their allegiances. <laughs> and every day more beings get fed up with the Empire and join us. It's warm. What did you find? What is that? I don't know, but it's warm. And it throws light. Here, warm yourself up. The transponder's signal will never get through the ice. Uh, yeah, you're probably right. But the Sot never know when to give up, remember? We'll just climb this up to the surface. Simple. <laughs> you're going to hurt yourself! <laughs> If he shoots at him with that blaster, he deserves to catch it. That's all I'm saying. Like this oh. day couldn't get any better. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, it's weirding me out. I don't know why. That's pretty cool. I like that they're working together to some extent. The strong survive, the weak perish. Is that what happened on Geonosis? The weak needed to perish. All right, we'll work together. I see you modified it for close quarters fighting. Impressive, but you shouldn't have it. It's not a trophy. Now hold still. I didn't take it as a trophy. The Lassat guardsman I faced, he fought well, died with honor. He gave me the rifle before. The Busan Kira, in the Sot warrior way. When one is defeated by a superior foe, he gifts his weapon. Mm. I was. I was only doing my duty. I remember my first unit. The boys and I were deployed to Onderon to bring peace and security to a troubled world. We were on a routine patrol and ran into one of your rebel friends, a Lassat mercenary who worked for Sor Guerrera. I was lucky, knocked out by the first blast. And then I saw him, the Lassat, calmly walk through smoke and fire to finish my unit off, one by one. The injured never had a chance. Damn. They're kind of making a good point. This is a terrible idea. Just climb! Uh, there are two of them! Carabas. Oh, man. Carabas. Carabas. What does that even mean? Right now. <laughs> Means you're a lot heavier than you look. Oh, oh, he's lucky he had that gun on the leg. If that blaster wasn't on the leg, it would have been over for him. Hold still. Hope this works. Hope. Hope what works? <laughs> that must hurt though. Wow!
Okay. I didn't think it was possible. Better activate the transponder. It's a lot colder up here. We won't last long. Yeah. But I think I'd rather freeze than be eaten. True. On Lasan. It it wasn't supposed to be a massacre. But I realized the Empire wanted to make an example. I know before I took credit for it. What happened on the sun? It's over for me. By the way, it's Zeb. My name, it's Zeb. Short for Garazeb. I know. Your friends did find you. Like I said they would. You know, we will treat you fairly. <laughs> I'll take my chances for the Empire. Zeb. Oh, so he's staying there. Wow. It wasn't so bad. We've all been inside of spots. I knew you'd find me eventually. All right, come on, Zeb. It's, uh, it's cold out here. You've been in it for two seconds. Yeah, two seconds too long. <laughs> oh, they actually managed to get him. Admiral Constantine. Agent Callus. Wow. That <laughs> that blew my mind. I did not expect to ever even like slightly change my mind about mutton chops. Well, palace. I'm stunned. I really am. I remember when I, the last time I saw him, or one of the last few times I saw him. There was a comment like, oh, just, you know, give him a chance. And I was like, all right. But every time he popped up since, he's a jerk. So I I, I was just like, all right, well, <laughs> there goes that. But now I get it. I understand. That's crazy. And like, it, it's actually all hitting me at once right now because... He went through a similar situation that Zeb went through with him, basically, and with, like, you know, his crew that took out the Lasats. But at the same time, his unit was taken out. So they both have, like, it's like a time loop, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's like a time loop where he's mad because of the Lasat, and then a Lasat, which is Zeb, is mad because of him. And it's just like this never-ending loop. Oh, man. That was really good. I did not expect that episode to go that way. That was, like, mind-blowing for me right now. And I, I'm, I'm actually curious because now I'm like, is he going to become a rebel? Because the way he was looking at the ship, and he was looking at everything, I'm like, is he going to become a rebel? Like, that... I don't know how, like... I don't know how I would feel about that. Like, I mean, I, I would be happy because you know, more rebels, and I guess, you know, he's pretty good at holding his own against the rebels all this time, so to be with them, it would be cool, but it's just weird. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this, but I I love this episode. This episode was great. Oh, man. Crazy. Anyway, thank you for joining. Please stay positive, stay safe, stay entertained, and may the force be with you. Peace. So, oh. hi. Uh, I'm pretty sure you didn't see anything out of the ordinary with that reaction, but it's actually a lot that was going on behind the scenes. So, personal life aside, I was trying to edit this reaction and I couldn't do it. And it was so hard to do for so long because there's so many good moments in this that I couldn't even include in this reaction. Like, there was plenty of talk between Callus and Zeb that really made a lot of sense and was comparing like the rebels to the empire and like more of their experiences and i wanted to include that so bad 
but I couldn't do it. And like, even if I did like a part two, it wouldn't have made sense because my reactions in those moments are very minor because I'm so focused on what's going on. So I felt like it would be like uneventful, you know? So I didn't want to cut it in half and have two reactions just to have one reaction be like excited and then the other reaction be like, like zoned in, you know, like super serious. So my thought process on it was I got to find a way to include everything I want to include and not have you know like to to split it up because if i split it up then there's no there's no faces you know there's no there's no talking there's nothing because i was so happy with like everything that was being said and all the good points that were being made so it just it was hard man it was so hard to do i i always give myself a limit of 10 minutes of footage to use so i was reaching that limit and it was going beyond like i think i still had like another two minutes by uh two days ago or something like that and mind you this episode has been in the works for four months four months i know like you're probably thinking like why just piece it together and put it up but i like to do it in a way that people who haven't seen it and that have been following along with the channel with me just to just to follow along with me can actually understand like everything that's going on and what might be important later on but this is so hard to do for this episode because there's so much like there's so many things that happen that's just like i'm trying to like figure out what's the best way to edit it you know so this is this is the best that I can do. And if I left out anything, please write in the comments what might be important for people later on because I, I would rather everybody's able to follow along. I know it seems so minor. It seems like something that shouldn't have taken that long. But to me, I, I really pride myself on the fact that like going from each reaction to the next, like you can you can still grasp everything that's happening without having to see the actual episode. But yeah, it's just it's tough. <laughs> but I have one more reaction that I haven't edited, which was the last one I did four months ago. And then uh, after that, all the reactions will be like from now on because I, I haven't filmed any more. So once I finish that one, I'll, I'll do more. And uh, Clone Wars is on the way as well. So, you know, I have, I have a couple of those that I haven't uh, edited either because, again, there's so much going on. So I... um. Yeah, I just I just wanted to give you guys a quick explanation because I, I I know I've seen the comments like yo what's happening with rebels and I felt bad but it's like I was trying to make it as good as it can be I was trying to do it in a way that everybody can enjoy it and follow along and actually hear the good conversations that was happening in this episode but it's so tough man it's tough to do it with such a small limit you know but yeah um yeah and I, I'm not. I'm not like a Patreon person, I'm not, I'm not that kind of person to open up like a paid thing to be like, hey, you know, like, come watch this with me, it's kind of weird to me, I don't really enjoy that too much, but look, if it's something you guys want, you let me know, I'm good with just doing this, but just so you know that occasionally it might, might be a little bit of a gap if I feel like I can't fit everything in, because I'm so like, my, my brain when it comes to editing these things is to try and make sure that the most important parts are at least like really funny reactions or really funny parts are in there. So it, it sometimes like clashes and it, it it causes me to overthink it constantly. So yeah, just um let me know. <laughs> and thank you for being patient. Thank you for being here. I don't take it for granted at all. I promise you. I'm not I wasn't trying to be here like, oh you guys, you know, whatever. Like that's never my intention. So seriously, thank you. And catch you later.